the tape rule. On this tape rule, there are two standards of measurement. We have on one side the imperial standard, that's what you call inch. On the other side, we have the metric rule, centimeters. Whatever standard you decide to work with really is up to you. You work with the standard that is most comfortable for you to understand. In this environment, we find that we are talking about inches a lot. This is the imperial standard. This is the tape rule. This is the imperial standard. Inches. One inch, two inches, three inches, four inches, and so on. This is the metric standard. Here we are talking about centimeters. One centimeter, two centimeters, three centimeters, four centimeters, and so on. What is the difference between the imperial standard and the metric standard? The imperial standard, the inch, is divided into eight parts. So when we talk about inches, we are dealing with parts of eight. When we talk about the metric standard, the centimeters, we are dealing with tens. Now, a lot of people find it easier to deal with tens, to divide tens, you know. But the intro is also very easy. You are dealing with eight, fractions of eight. So, how do you use the intro? How do you calculate your measurements? For instance, what if you have a measurement that falls here? What would you have to say? I would say I have 418. How do, you, how do I know that? This is 4 inches, then I have another whole inch. So I count 1, 8, 2, 8, or 1 quarter, 3, 8, that's 3 out of 8, 4, 8, or half an inch, 5, 8, 6, 8, or 3 quarters, 7, 8, and then and that whole number, five, five inches. So if I'm working with centimeters and I have a measurement that falls here, for instance, I would say I have 6.2. Why 6.2? Because there's a leftover of two out of a whole centimeter. So when I have a part of 10, I have a decimal point. Before that part, I would have a decimal point. This is a decimal point. Six is a whole number. Then the decimal point. Then two, which is a part. When dealing with inches, I'll be dealing with fractions, not decimal points. So if I had a part of a whole, for instance, I had three and then this, I have three, three, eight. That means three is a whole number. Then I have a part of a whole, which is three. The whole is eight. I have three, three, eight. That's how we work with fractions, the inches, that this is how we work with the centimeters.